YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we're going to be going over how I traded Dow Jones clothes. Okay, so basically, the last hour and a half or so of the market open. This is a video that I've been requested by a few people. Okay, I think it's been left in one of the, in the comment section of one or two of my videos, and then I got a couple of um private messages on Instagram saying they'd love to see a video on the Dow Jones clothes. So, um, ask and you shall receive. It's all about what you guys want to see. So, let's get straight into it. Okay, guys. So, as you know by now, I like to keep things very simple on this channel for everyone to understand. Okay. So, straight away, when you look at my chart, you can see I've got a couple of things marked out. Okay. So, first of all, this, so this right here, this is just the first couple of minutes of the market open. Okay. So, I've got, so the market open is at half two. Right, and you can see straight away we got pump out on market open. Not straight away, no. It that it kind of, it did. There was no clear direction for the first um for a while, first fifteen minutes or so of market open, and then we did start to see an uptrend. Okay, but since we sit seeing the top here at about half three, um, it started making newer lows. Okay, but now obviously we're looking down here at the U.S. close, which is basically the last hour. I like to trade the last hour and a half of um the market on the market. Okay, so from about what I have here, so from about quarter to eight to nine o'clock. After it goes past nine o'clock, I'm not interested. You can see it's it 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 slows down obviously because the market's closed and there's just not much movement. I'd only be looking for a trade after that time. If I was looking for a swing position for holding for a longer period of time. But us day traders, we like to be in and out in the same, uh, in a couple of minutes. Okay, so let's have a look here. What are these? So these are the highs of the day that I marked out. Okay, so let's say we're looking around here. Str what for one of the first things I'll do is I can I'll see if I can spot any trends. So first I'll mark out the highs of the day. So I've got one up here, another here, another here. So they're they're key levels. You can see there's some. I'll drop box. Okay, so you can see you've got some here. Okay, another one up here, and another one up here. Okay, nice, very. They're the highs of the day. Okay, so then also you can see. I've drawn out a nice trend line here. Okay, so they've all um they all kind of bounce off each other in a nice uh, diagonal line. Now what's interesting is so I have the market uh open marked out here. So when the market opened at 230, it opened up at um 33,471. Okay, so I have it marked out here, this green horizontal line. Since market open, right, it's it's been a key level of support. Look, bounced here, bounced like here again, uh, bounced a couple of times off it during the day, right? And you can see once we got to here, got to what was it about just 10 to 8, okay? It couldn't, it tried to break past and it couldn't. So, around this position here. If I'm if I'm looking now and I'm trying to place a trade, I'll be looking for a short position here because it's close to um this line the, the trend line here. Okay, and when it's close to that trend line, you're looking for a short position. But you I wouldn't place one just yet there, right? So it tried to break through the horizontal to that uh, support there, and it couldn't. Came back down, went up to retest it again before fading away. That's something I've said a couple of times on this channel. Don't enter when it just breaks through the um well well um fuck, what's the word? It tries to um when it fades away the first time. Wait for the retest and then for it to come back down. Okay. Um because that that's so see if you ended here, yeah you would have made money, you could have made a couple quick profits there but if you got in here that would be your confirmation of entry when it comes back down down here that's perfect uh, if it comes back down there that's a good amount of money you've just made if you place a short position there 
So that's, that's something I've noticed over the last couple of weeks that the market on them level, so in this case it's 33471, can often act as a key uh, level. Okay, and you can see very clearly here during the day it was it bounced off a couple of times. Um, and so that's that's a position there where you could look for a short position, okay? Now, if you're looking for a long position, is there any um is there anywhere in there where you could place a long position? Well there is, right? There's down here, okay? So if we look on the we're on the one minute chart at the moment. So if we look on the one hour chart and we come down, that's a bit messy now, but that's okay. You can see very clear uh, uh, support here. Okay, bounce how many times and how many hours off this kind of level. Broke through, but then kind of came straight back up again. Okay, so they're, 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 they're little things to look out for. So what you, what you want to make sure is you don't want to place any trades in here, okay? So we're going to place a red box in here. Okay, we'll make this red. Right, so that this is where you don't want to place a trade because it's all mid range, right? It's it's too risky. If you're if you if you place a trade in here, there's kind of a 50 50 percent chance you're going to make money or lose money. Okay, maybe there's a higher chance of losing money. You place a trade down here, you're about maybe there's maybe there's a 70 percent chance you're going to make money and a 30 percent chance you'll lose money. Okay. The odds you want the odds in your favor you don't need to know what's going to happen next in the stock market to make money you just need the odds in your favor if you have the odds in your favor you can be profitable at this and um that is how i look to trade the um, stock market close on the dow jones um so make sure you wouldn't want to place any trades around here okay um when it comes to the close you look for trading the highs and the lows of the day okay uh, anywhere in the middle you don't you want to stay away from because if you place a trade there you're you're more than likely going to lose money okay um you're making things very difficult for yourself i only usually trade um the dow jones on the open and at the close okay usually i, I tr trade stocks on the open but if there's no stocks that, that really interests me. I trade the, the Dow Jones. Um, anywhere during the day, I I'd stay away from it because it's too unpredictable. Okay. Um, and you can see, and I, I, you've seen it in my past videos as well. I'm very big on my support levels, my my uh, key levels. Not so much at the open because at the open it's kind of just like anything goes, you know. But um. That's it, Jeff. Yeah. Well, guys, and that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully, you learned something new and you're able to take advantage of the stock market and make some money uh, by trying at your own risk. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and um, I will see you on the next one.